Hey everyone, today we're doing something pretty awesome. Porsche reached out and asked me to create content for their celebration of the 911 car model. I was like, sure. So I decided to go big. I'm talking dark forest near Stuttgart big. So let's dive in and get a little creative. So first things first, I'm sketching out the ground for the dark forest diorama. And uh, I'm using a hot knife to cut the foam. Word of advice, wear a mask, folks. I mean, unless you want to inhale styrofoam clouds. And believe me, no one wants that. I started using joint foam. It's great for adding variation to the landscape, but it does kind of explode and dry super fast. It's messy work, but hey, that's part of the fun, right? Now I'm adding some wall filler to shape the environment. It's like giving the diorama a little facelift. And if you're wondering, yeah, I've definitely overused this sponge technique, but it just works so well to get that gravel-like texture. Plus it's super speedy. Just dip, dab and bam, instant rocks. While we're building the diorama, let's talk Porsche. Did you know that the Porsche 911 first launched in 1964 was almost called the 901? However, Peugeot already had a trademark on car names with three digits and a zero in the middle. So Porsche switched to 911 and here we are with this iconic model that's been evolving for over 50 years. Okay, so now we spray the ground a nice gray color. It really brings out the stone texture. But um, pro tip, try not to paint your hands, your table, or in your case, the dog. Once you start spraying, everything turns gray. Also, remember to do this outside because, yeah, no one wants to smell like an art project gone wrong. Time to bring the forest to life. I I I'm using materials from Noch. I think that is from Germany. By the way, this first layer is a scatter material, which looks like a mix of gravel, barge or dirt, gives some great details to the ground. The other powder is this green turf blend to simulate moss. It's amazing how just a bit of powder can transform this into an actual forest. And yes, I'm using hairspray to glue it down. Fun fact, works great for dioramas, but also makes the room smell like a hair salon could be worse. Now for the fun part, adding in the bushes and fallen trees. At this point, I'm basically just sprinkling green magic everywhere and it's working. The forest vibe is really coming together and I might have accidentally glued my fingers together once or twice. After getting the base of the forest done, it's time to bring in the star of the show. Or should I say the stars, the trees. Now. I'd never built trees on this scale before, so it was a bit of an adventure. I used my laser cutter to create the bases, which honestly was a bit tricky. But it worked. I made the trees using different size star shapes, stacking them to get the shape I wanted. I connected everything with a wooden rod and it started coming together. Now for the crown, I used regular pillow stuffing. Yes, you heard that, right? And the hairspray again. What can I say? It's the diorama version of hair gel. Now, to really make these trees come to life, I'm dusting them with same material as the floor of the forest, green turf blend. And look, it's starting to look like a proper forest. And don't worry, all that powder that falls off, I've got a bucket underneath, recycling, right? Efficient and eco-friendly, here is some backstory. I started creating miniatures back in 2020. It all kicked off with recreating old ads and you can still find those on my Instagram. Funny enough, I always wanted to photograph real cars, but as a photographer, that's a tough niche to break into. So I decided to approach it differently with die cast models. And well, here we are. Um, it's crazy to think that the dream of working with brands like Porsche actually came true. For the final touches, I added little sticks to the tree trunks to give them more texture and detail. The devil's in the details, and with dioramas, the more tiny elements you add, the more realistic it looks. I made sure to include everything, from fallen trees to bushes and moss, to really bring that forest floor to life. And now the moment of truth, putting it all together. 
Look at that. The trees, the fallen branches, the car, it's all coming to life. It looks like an actual forest. I'm just standing here trying not to pat myself on the back too much, but it looks so good. So here's the final diorama in all its glory with the Porsche 911 front and center. I've got to say, seeing it all come together like this, so satisfying. And with that, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe for more crazy builds like this. I mean, who wouldn't want to see more trees made of pillow stuffing? So enjoy your day and see you next time.